Hi, my name is Spencer Grant, and welcome to a special episode of Four Trees. If you caught the last special episode, then you know what's going on, and if not, surprise! Some friends and I decided to try out the Warrior Cats Adventure Game, an officially licensed tabletop RPG based on the Warrior Cats universe, and have a little fun with a one-shot. If you haven't heard the previous episodes, I would suggest doing so now so you can jump into this one with that much issue. This is like the finale, so if you're starting here, then I suggest uh, not doing that. If you have heard the last episode, but you've just forgotten it, allow me a synopsis. Last week, Skunk Pelt, Mild Gust, Dream Belly, Pushing Things Off the Edges, Piss Whisker, and Bud Light managed to cross the Thunderpath after Piss Whisker got hit by a monster. After making camp for the night, Dream Belly realized that he had lost his sense of smell, and by morning, the anosmia had spread to all of our protagonists. That's right, we've all got beige cough. They also received some prophetic dreams from Star Clan that led them to a pond, where they are now encountering a hostile badger. Also, a few technical notes to keep in mind. Since this was a spur-of-the-moment recording session, it means that I didn't have any time to get them to record their own audio or do a better job setting up my own. You may hear Discord notifications, ringtones, other commotion going on in the background, and low-quality audio from most of the participants. That's more or less unavoidable, but it's been mitigated as much as possible by Alex, who offered to do post-sound. As for the game, the module we were playing is loosely based off the Fever Dream scenario, and we decided that the game would be more enjoyable for us if we added in probability such as dice rolls. I didn't really have much more than the Cliff Notes version of the scenario, so I went fairly off script depending on what we thought was fun. And one more thing, if you have a hard time telling voices apart in a group of people, I invite you to watch this episode on YouTube, where I have set up an audio visualizer so as to help you tell each person apart. The link will be in this episode's description. With that in mind, I invite you to join my four friends on their warrior cat journey in this bonus episode of Four Trees. gonna like yeah I don't, how are you going to skunk out will unsheath his claws uh, I, i'm going Maybe to say um wait, wait surround the hole before we do anything rash can we try it can badgers speak cat no okay. don't say anything alex i know you want to <laughs> badgers cannot speak cat all right no in which case i'm not yeah. going to attempt to speak with it i'm going to allow my compatriots to do their thing because i'm not we should we should attempt to make a circle around the hole are there any is there any like elevated ground like a rock or anything i can climb on i could jump down onto uh, it yeah from. you there are some uh, elevated rocks there's a tree the, yeah there's the tree and there's a waterfall as well. oh can i get on, like as directly above the hole as possible uh, yes if you get on, if you get in the tree, you might be able to just plunge straight on down through that. That hole. is my plan. I'm crushing with my weight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an anvil in a cartoon. All right. Humor wrestler. I'm going to wait like five feet from the hole. Oh, he can smell me, huh? All right. I'm gonna be like ten feet from the hole. All right. Bud Light unsheaths her ready. claws and waits by uh, Skunk Pelt just for the sake of uh, making sure that if anything happens, she is the last in the line of fire. Yeah. Are you guys going Sounds to good. provoke the badger to come out of its uh, den? I think I am. Uh, I'm going to make very loud sounds to try and attract okay. it. Okay. I scream the word? And also, from my vantage point, I can pee into the hole to, you know, <laughs> slow them out. Badger sets are like 80, can get like 80 foot deep. That's not that effective, right. is it? The, after, after a little while of yowling and urinating, you do eventually <laughs> hear a rumbling sound from the set. Before too long... How big is the badger? Huh? How big is the badger? Well, it's not necessarily the size of it, it's the fact that it's underground. Okay. It has a jackhammer, I don't also, know. Also, I'd, I'd assume badgers are quite a bit bigger than cats. Yeah, and, and cats can also, they, they have, they can feel a lot more through their paw pads than we can, because, you know, they don't have shoes. <laughs> really makes you think, huh? All right, so the badger explodes out of the hole, like a, a snarling, screaming mess, and uh, dust goes flying everywhere. How are you guys going to react to this? What's your plan of action? I want everybody to roll initiative, for starters. Okay. Um, so that would be... Ooh, we have that. I've, I've added it for the sake of this encounter. So roll initiative. It's just a d20 plus 
your, let's say, intelligence plus strength uh, divided by okay. two. Okay. Do we round up or down? Up, down. Or, sorry, up. <laughs> up, down is not a direction. Gotta remember that. 15. I got 15. I got a 19. You got an 18. Okay. I got 18 and a half. Round oh my up. god. I thought I rolled good. <laughs> Alright, so who, who got the highest there? Is that John? I got a 19. Okay. Uh, 18 and a half would around a 19, so there's two 19s. Oh, sorry, yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, 19. Uh, you can go first if you want. I don't mind. Up to you. Okay. I want you to go first. <laughs> Oh, right. What do you want to do? Am I going into the into the war? It's up to you. Oh, the badger is oh, out, right? I'm You're gonna... the adventurer here. Can I murder the badger? Just straight. You can up. attack it. I don't think you can yeah, murder it. Roll, roll for murder. <laughs> uh, I, I would say that would be uh, first of all a pounce, and then probably a bite for damage. I do like the way yeah. okay. you can bite or wrestle, I guess. It would be wrestle yeah, or, cool. or bite. Yeah, I haven't got anything in either. I got 12 for pounce. Okay. Remember, you get a plus six to either of your bite or <laughs> yeah. wrestle rolls. Yeah, so I got 13 for bite. Okay, so uh, you, you pounce on the badger successfully and bite into it pretty easily. Yeah, the badger sustains a little bit of damage, but it does uh, buck about a little bit and throws you off. Um, I want you to, if there is a next round, I want you to do it with disadvantage because you're already, you're still aching from that car crash earlier. Right so, <laughs> so I've got a disadvantage though. Yeah, disadvantage on the next one. But you still do, oh, okay. oh, you do damage yeah. and it does, uh, it, it throws you into a bush. So like, you're, you're kind of okay, but you're not perfect. Can I just do another pound? Oh. Wild Gust, it's up to you. Oh, um, sorry. I'm going to try and sneak past the badger into the war. All right, roll sneak. Ooh. Yeah. I don't have any sort of Badger problem. is aptly distra distracted with uh, Piss Whisker. So. <laughs> I, got, I got a 13 on my All right. Seat. You managed to make it part of the way into the Warren, but by the time that the Badger had thrown off Piss Whisker, it is heading for you, and it will get there on your turn. Oh. Skunk, you're next. Okay, I'm going to attempt to pounce and pin the Badger, because I have that knack. Okay. Give me, give me a pounce roll. Okay. Oh, uh, that's an 18 plus a uh, pounce. Oh, that's intelligence. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, 19. All right. And uh, give me your wrestle. Wrestle. Yeah. That would be strength. strength. Okay. You'll do good with that one. 16. Cool. All right. You uh, have successfully managed somehow to subdue the badger, and uh, you are now rolling around with it on the ground. Do you have any idea which direction you might want to go with it? Isn't a pin okay. stationary? Or... Yeah. Okay. You pin it. It is now stationary on the ground. Uh, it is the badger's turn. The badger is going to roll to attack. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, badger. Okay, that was a natural one. The badger... Oh, I thought that was bad. I thought that was going to be a toy. No, 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 no. I... <laughs> the badger... The... No, Spencer's rooting for the badger. The badger is not having a great day. <laughs> bunch of cats just appeared out of nowhere man it's just it's not happy so the badger attempts to attack but fails completely because of the pin it's just so insanely effective all it can really also, do also it's is, thrown off by my smell ab absolutely yeah. all it can really do is buck around a little bit and uh, it, it notices to be thrashing away from the water or it seems to be like heading away from the water in some way um, almost like it's scared of it or something like that. Maybe it can't swim. I don't know. I'm not the badger expert here. Dream, dream belly. So my dream. my plan was to just fall on it, jump yeah. out the tree and belly. But now there's there's a friend in the way. Um, hmm. hmm. Can I delay my turn? Let's see what what the other what the Bud um, Light does. Yeah, well. sure. Bud Light in that case takes initiative. What does she roll? She gets an 18, uh, and she pounces on the badger as well. And she starts to, she attempts to roll it a little ways towards the, the lake, the pond, because she seems to have noticed its apprehension. Towards what? Towards the pond. Okay. There's a pond next to the What's tree. The Skunk Pelt, if you want to help, uh, you're well within your rights to do so, or you could pin it because you are a little bit stronger than she is. And by a little bit, I mean significantly <laughs> stronger no, than I she is. No, I think she's generally correct. Okay. Uh, I'll help her roll. Some of you start uh, pushing the badger towards the pond, although it is giving up not an insubstantial amount of resistance. Uh, now, Dream Belly, it is your turn. I've got my idea. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go for a fallen chomp. <laughs> okay. That's my, that's my plan. Falling that's my chomp. Plan. Because one of my knacks is to yes, chomp. Yes, one of your knacks is to I chomp. Always do I'm directly above him. All right. So how should we resolve this? I'm aiming for his head, and I've got my mouth wide open, and it is a large mouth. <laughs> I'm just, I'm getting ready for the natural one, and he right. bites my ear yeah, off. Roll, roll for pounce, I suppose. <laughs> All right. So pounce, that's intelligence. I got 11. Okay. You managed to barrel into the badger with your full weight and force, but unfortunately, the badger is able to cling on to skunk pelt, and... Both Skunk Pelt and Badger go tumbling into the pond. 
Oh, sorry. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Do I get my chomp though? Do I get a chomp you in? Do, you do manage to get a, a, a pretty good chomp in before the badger uh, gets into the pond. Now, both the badger and skunk pelt are crashing for uh, aid. Um, whether or not you give it to them is up to you. Piss Whisker, it's your turn next. Uh, can I just fight the badger's throat? Hmm? Kill the badger, fight the badger's throat. I mean, it's in the pond, so you have to get into the pond. Yep. And then swim over to it and then kill it. No, no, I know. Okay, oh, I wouldn't it. imagine. Yeah. I guess. Roll. Roll swim. swim yeah, fight. roll swim with disadvantage. What's the disadvantage? The disadvantage is you got hit by a car yesterday and you had to just swim <laughs> on the ground. That seems oh, really recent. I got a natural, like natural 20 on swim, plus 6. Uh, yeah, but what was the other one? What? So you got a 20 and 6? Huh? No, there's, so, no, I meant strength, strength is okay. 6. No, no, yeah, but disadvantage, disadvantage is you roll twice, twice and take the load. load. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I thought. Doesn't doesn't natural things override it? Like, no. Natural one. Uh, depends on the rule of fun. I'm gonna say no. <laughs> I got seven. <laughs> so I got nineteen in total. You got a what now? A uh, seven. Okay, so the lower one is seven plus six. I don't think that's nineteen, Alex. Huh? What? Seven, seven plus, plus six. six. No, twenty minus seven plus six. What? No, no, no. no. You minus take seven. What are you doing? Do? <laughs> I don't understand how this works. The so disadvantage is you roll twice and then you use the lower roll as the roll. You don't subtract the lower roll from the higher roll. Oh. You take seven and you add oh. six to it and that would be your I roll. See. So I understand that. You successfully okay, managed to swim over to the badger. Okay. However, the badger's violent thrashing is enough to knock you further down into the water and you are unable to make any other acts on this turn. Uh, Miles oh, Gust, cool. what do you want to do? Can I look in this warren and try to find the uh, fever Thing. Yes, you can. I want you to. Do you, you have plant roll? Uh, lore, I right? have medicine lore. lore. All right. I want you to roll smell, and if you pass that, medicine okay. lore. And uh, the um, DC check, because you're surrounded by dirt and you also can't smell, is going to be pretty hard. If you want to do um, sight, C, that would uh, work as well. Yeah. Let's let's do let's do C. Okay. I rolled this, uh, 13 plus two is 15. All right. You have uh, passed the C check. You see some uh, fever few, and if you are so inclined you can collect it but that I would, would be like a, to do so. all right that would be a medicine lore thing because you have to know how to collect it otherwise you might accidentally mess it up somehow and like through the wrong cards I guess uh, I do have less intelligence plus two plus two yes so that would be plus four okay three. I got a 14 total okay you successfully managed to collect a small amount of fever few uh, and you see plenty more down in the worm. Cool. If you want, you can eat it now. I don't know if it would help you, but uh, maybe you, you might. If uh, you, well, I guess you do know medicine lore, so you would probably be able to find a way to administer it uh, well. But I don't know if it would work immediately. Uh, yeah, that doesn't sound like how medicine works, <laughs> um, unless it's magic. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's say that if you eat it now, you will be able to uh, to you you will start feeling better within like a very short period of time. Um, and there's a lot of. It. Yes, there is a lot of it. Nobody would lose anything. You're, you're, you are just, you are sick. <laughs> let's, let's remember that. I will treat myself. Uh, Mild Gus has a little bit of fever for you as a, a treat. A little, a little bit as a treat. Next up is Skunk Pelt. How are you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm happy. Currently thrashing in the water next to the badger. Yeah, yeah. You try to get uh, out of there. Am I, am I able to swim? Uh, well, Thunder Clan cats traditionally are not strong swimmers at all. Um, okay. that would mostly be River Clan. Right. Yeah, I, I would I'm say do not count on spot. being able to swim because if you are in the water, uh, you are one failed roll away from drowning or being close to drowning. And so I should get the fuck out. You probably should. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try to get the. Uh, sorry. That's okay. Get the freak right, out. Roll for that. Getting the freak I'll out. Swim. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's a one. Okay, so... The badger unfortunately dunks you. The the thrashing movements of both the badger and his whisker push you even further down, and uh, you start to have some trouble breathing because you are underwater. Next up is uh, um, Dream Bellies. Yeah. Dream Belly, here we go. Again, my plan's kind of gone out. You know, actually, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna stick put a stick in the water to try and help help them out. All right, you grab a stick with your mouth and uh, dangle it in the water. I'm gonna say that's you don't need to roll for that. I will say. 
Piss Whisker and Skunk Pelt, please roll for grabbing onto the stick. Can I assist because I'm going to try I'll help pull them up. I want to grab onto the stick. Hmm? Well, you don't have to. All right, you Skunk can Pelt, die. roll to grab onto the stick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still focused on killing what, the bandit. Is that just a straight 20? Yeah, I have I climbing say... and balance. Yeah, okay. Uh, give it climbing. Okay. Uh, climbing. That's a 14. All right. You successfully managed to grab onto the stick, and with Dream Belly's assistance and power, you both managed to make it out of the lake. You are now <sighs> panting and yeah, lying on I the hate, grass. I hate everything right now. Badger... And I say you're welcome. Badger manages to stay afloat, and... Attempts to paddle back towards the uh, towards the shore, but unfortunately, his whiskers uh, also similar attempts to swim. Plus, is the the massive body content of that cat stop it from getting any closer, and it continues to flounder in the water for another turn. Bud Light rushes over towards Skunk Pelt and is like, "Hey, it's me, Bud Light. How are you doing? Are you okay?" I'm just. I don't. I can't even like process surrounding sensory things. I'm traumatized. All right. Good to know. Good use of uh, your time. <laughs> <laughs> I would say she she hisses at the badger. Let's see if that's a successful hiss. It is not. She does not manage to hiss very well at she, the badger. But that's okay. Yeah. She tried. What does that sound like, Spencer? Yeah, do it. Well, there you go. Yeah. Okay, I, I can imagine it now. All right, piss whisker, your turn. You want to stay in that water? Yeah, I want to kill the badger. Okay. He's taking him down with Roll to swim. Okay. <laughs> Genuinely got a natural 20. Alright. With disadvantage? Oh, I didn't roll another one. Uh, let me add one. I've got 11 plus 6, so 17. Okay. You successfully managed to stay afloat, and now I want you to. Are you going to bite it or wrestle it? Um, bite. Okay, I want you to roll for bite. At no, no disadvantage this time because it's just your mouth. Yeah. Um, 15 plus 6, 21. Alright. You have successfully sunk your teeth into the neck of the badger, and the ba the the pool starts to cloud with red red underwater smoke or blood, as it is sometimes <laughs> called. No, the cats actually call that's, it red that's smoke. That's true. Yeah. Uh, the badger continues thrashing, uh, and it will continue to do so for a little while. But it is currently bleeding out, and if it does not get to the shore and receive medical attention, it will most likely not survive. Uh, the rest of you guys, what are you up to? Next? I guess next would be Mild Gust's turn, but the combat is almost over, so if we want to go back to just doing, just vibing. I want to try, yeah, yeah, I just want to try. If the badger is good as gone, I feel like we can end the initiative order. Mm -hmm. I want to try and get, get, um, Piss Whisker out of the water, because I know he doesn't have self-preservation <laughs> instinct, so I kind of want to, right. kind of want to help him out. Piss Whisker, do you want to get out of the water? If the badger is dead. dying. Yeah, okay then. <laughs> In that case, uh, you've successfully managed to get Piss Whisker out of the water. I'm not gonna make you roll for that. I'm worried you might die. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> as funny as that might be, <laughs> I feel like that you might get a little salty. <laughs> okay then, roll to roll to leave the water then, smart. <laughs> I got three. Okay, you drowned. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, you Don't worry, we're at the end of the session. We are, yeah. Is it, no, plus, plus, plus strength. Plus strength. Nine, then. You still, you still f***ing die. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mild gust is- You were unable to return to the shore and uh, pass beneath the water beyond the help of any cat. No, oh. I'm, 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 I'm freaking out. I'm, I'm about to dive in after him. Okay, Dream Belly, uh, roll for swim. I'm about to. Do you want to? Well, if, if no one's going to stop me, is anyone going to stop me? I don't think it's probably a stupid thing to do. But no one cares about me except. Yeah. Actually, no, no one cares about me. So, all right. Oh, oh. oh, so I got. Oh, oh wait, no, I got. I got nine. I'm afraid oh, you are unable to rescue Piss Whisker. Uh, he sinks to the bottom of the pool and. Uh, <laughs> But you're so fat that you float. I guess, yeah. <laughs> I like a flotation device. Every, I'm like rolling around on my back as, and I'm crying. As, uh, as Mild Gust uh, returns from the, the badger set, uh, holding Feverfew in his uh, jaws, you uh, all collectively stare into the pool. <laughs> and Bud Light informs Mild Gust of the great loss that has just occurred. He died for our sins. Well, no, wait. Did you find out lasagna? You know, yeah, found is there any lasagna at the bottom of that lake? Yes. <laughs> There's... All the lasagna in the world. <laughs> all, all the lasagna you could ever want. <laughs> uh, well, I'd like to yeah. sing a song for um, Piss Whisker, our friend. Meow, meow. Beautiful. <clears throat> so, I found enough 
Steve or for you to treat everyone who's still alive. I believe in miracles. <laughs> Way from <laughs> yesterday, I was one of those lonely people. Now you're lying next to me, making love to me. <laughs> Oh, I can't continue, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bud Light breaks out into tears. And by the way, he's got like a really deep, beautiful baritone as well. Oh my god, he sounds like Brett Sparks. It's incredible. <laughs> you are all deeply saddened, and uh, the job collecting fever few from the area in and around the Badger set is a somber task indeed. Um, but as you make your way back towards the clans, a starry light appears in front of you. And who is it but Piss Whisker, who is secretly a oh. ghost and the member of Star Clan this entire oh time? My God. <laughs> if you check my, check my character sheet, that's what it says. It says Star Clan on it. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh my this god! Good. Do you have any last the twist, words to, to the share? The twist of the ages! Do you have any last words to share with your beloved compatriots who embarked on a life-changing journey with you? I think I'd like it to be um, Rise of Skywalker style where I just stare um, <laughs> at someone saying, lying about what their name is. I, I guess Bud Light in that case takes up the mantelpiece and she stares at Piss Whisker and says, My name now is pushing things off of the edges, Bud Light. That's beautiful. Cue the music. Yeah, and then the, what was it, Two, two Sons in the Sunset, or whatever the, the Star Wars song was. <laughs> nah, I do think, um, I do think Miracles plays as the greatest for Okay, well, as you guys make your way back to the forest, and the, the fever feud begins to set in, you notice a very peculiar sense, or rather, a lack thereof. It gets you guys wondering, hey, if I took that fever feud, and I got rid of the beige cough, why the frick can't I smell? Because obviously, if you could, you would be able to smell how freaking rancid skunk pelt is all the gosh dang time. Mm -hmm. However, I want you guys to know this before we adjourn. Skunk pelt, thanks to that dip he took in that pool, now no longer smells like a stinky cat boy. Oh. Instead, he smells like a beautiful oh prince. Oh my god! The arc is complete. <laughs> I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask uh, <laughs> pushing things off of edges. Bud Light out on a date. Right. He's playing Star Wars in the background. <laughs> <laughs> pushing things off of edges. Bud Light blushes. It's but, a cat. Uh, unfortunately, she is a medicine cat. And she cannot take a mate because she is sworn to be married to Jesus in Star Clan. But she appreciates your friendship. So, um, okay. can, I, can I get every, can we get everyone else's? Up all right. Up? So yes. Uh, well, I would say for starters, now that uh, first of all, Skunk Pelt no longer smells like a skunk and is welcomed back with open arms with everybody else. The forest is cured of its epidemic or pandemic, as we call it, when it is happening in multiple nations. Thank you, Alex. You're welcome. And uh, Piss Whisker gets to chase all of the lasagna he ever wanted up in Star Clan, and still will come down to visit from time to time when. Whenever uh, the five cats gather, whenever the other four cats uh, see each other at gatherings, obviously whenever, life in whenever the clans. They think whenever they think, yeah, <laughs> life in the clans goes on. Uh, Lily Star lost one of her lives to beige cough, um, but Garfield and Smokeweed were cured, which is all that matters in the end. And they Wait, why don't I have nine lives? Because hmm? you're not a leader. Why don't I have them? Okay. All right. Thank God, Smokeweed survived. Uh, pushing things off of the edges, Bud Light grew up to be the world's greatest medicine cat, even better than Yellowfang and Spotted Leaf put together. Wow, did we win the big yes. game? <laughs> Dream Belly uh, managed to win all of the respects of his clan mates, despite being a, a kitty pet and having an abnormal amount of knowledge about two legs. And in the end, yes, Thunder Clan did end up winning the big game. And then we all went out for milkshakes. Mm -hmm. And Mild Dream Gus... Dream Belly died of heart failure uh, <laughs> three seasons later. Is that what happened? Oh, okay. I was gonna say Mild I wouldn't gust. go. I wouldn't go three seasons. I'd say. I'd say you'd say a little Mild longer. gust, kind and measured. Mild gust, went back to Warrior Cats College to study uh, computer science and was later democratically <laughs> elected as the vice president of Thunder Clan uh, in recognition of his leadership of the group of heroes who banded together to rescue the forest from beige cough. After the um, passing of Silent Star, his tourist mentor. 
He journeyed to the Moonstone and was chosen by the Electoral College in Star Clan to be the leader of Thunder Clan, Mild Star. In Star Clan, he was once again reunited with Piss Whisker, who gave him a life of absent mindedness. <laughs> um, Mild Star would later lose this life after watching a donkey eat a fig. <laughs> All right, and that is, I think that will conclude our Warrior Cats campaign. Or one shot. That was super fun. <laughs> I'm glad you got it. Such, I, lo I love the ending, though. The ending was fantastic. <laughs> I was really, really hoping. Sorry for I killing you, Alex. I'm, thank you guys so much for playing with me. I really appreciate it. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, good. Time. Thanks for taking over the spot for today. I of course. was not as prepared over the flight. I understand completely. And I, I do look forward to going to space next week or going wherever the heck we end up going. Yeah, yeah, I was going to the real one you were talking about earlier. Troika? Yeah, Troika. Oh, yeah, yeah, And from there, our conversation devolved into other things, and I stopped recording. But yeah, thank you all so much for joining us on our stupid little RPG journey. I had a lot of fun making this and stress testing some of the infrastructure I had built for myself in making four trees. This was a great learning experience in editing podcasts with multiple people and a whole lot of fun to play together with my friends. I have to say, I was really genuinely surprised with how invested these guys got into things, and I hope it was enjoyable for you as an audience as well. This will just about do it for our Four Trees RPG stuff. I don't currently plan on doing any more in the near future, but I also didn't particularly plan on doing this one, so who knows when the next one will happen. All I can say is that I would really love for there to be a next one, though it'd probably take some more prep work and building a more robust system for us to fool around in if we want to commit to anything longer than a one-shot. There do currently exist one or two other Warrior Cat systems, which I'll avoid mentioning by name out of respect because I honestly don't think they're any better than the official one, and I'd probably have a better time working with some friends to make my own. Until then, I hope that you can go on enjoying the regular Fortrees podcast as we make our way through the new prophecy and, hopefully, beyond. Thank you so much for listening to Fortrees, our Warrior Cats community podcast. I've been your host, Spencer Grant. Four Trees is recorded live in front of a studio audience at Druid's Hollow Studios here in Bristol. Our theme was composed by Spencer Grant and arranged by Jerry Mousman. Be sure to listen right up until the end for the extended version. Our 3D assets were designed by Spencer Diablo Grant, and our 2D assets were designed by Lily Tran at Cardinal Mask. Our editor is Spencer Pagliacci Grant. Post sound is by Alex Turner. The Warrior Cat series is written by Aaron Hunter and distributed by HarperCollins. Please support the official release. Special thanks for these episodes goes out to the players Noah, Otto, Alex, and John. Thank you guys so much. You can find us at the web at spencergrant.co.uk slash fortrees or wherever you get your podcasts. And you can find our YouTube uploads with auto-generated subtitles and audio visualizations at youtube.com slash spencergrant. Again, I've been Spencer, and you have been beautiful. Bye!